The reasons why London was becoming more of a drag to me were the rent prices were getting ridiculous. Also, the course that I wanted my career to go in was not um, one that I was satisfied with, and it was time to move on. I quickly moved into media and was able to secure myself a job writing and editing for a local expat magazine. As a writer, I've been lucky enough to um, be able to travel around. It's the type of work that you can do almost anywhere. So I've been extremely lucky in that regard. We're at Lashan Dafo, which is uh, one of the biggest Buddhas in the world. It is it's been carved out of rock at the top of this mountain that we're about to climb, praying that it's not going to be absolutely rammed with Chinese tour groups. So upon now studying uh, for uh, over six months, I find myself being able to have conversations with people that I never had before and to have an insight into their daily life that really allows me to enjoy my time here so much more. Where are we going? Java. Goodbye from your home. As many people tell you, the food is a huge highlight of being in China. You're constantly discovering different foods. It's incredible how much you can find. China is huge and it holds so much culture within its borders that to try and explore it all would uh, take a very long time. Um, but it's something that I've tried my best to do things perhaps become more restrictive culturally and media freedoms and um, human rights freedoms are constantly uh, decreasing. And these are all things that foreigners take into consideration. As with any expat living on the other side of the world, you have to balance family. Unfortunately, their draw and my need to be with them will outweigh my need to have adventure at some point. And this will be the thing that takes me back home. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.